Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 862. I'm Kristen Amdahl, and we're here live in Southwest Florida in my studio. Unfortunately, it is still incredibly stormy outside today, and I cannot make it to the beach two days in a row because of weather, but Rest assured, as soon as the weather cooperates, I will be back to the beach. But in the meantime, we're in my studio this morning, and it seems like it's a good day for that because today is giveaway day, so we have a new winner to find for last week's uh, winning of a bag of Be So Scrubby yarn. So it's 10 balls of Be So Scrubby yarn and the double zip pouch that we need to find a winner for. And then I have a new uh, giveaway to announce today. So today's episode 862 will be the episode to leave a comment to win this week. Uh, we'll get to that more. If you are joining me live, please say hello. My computer's acting really weird with the comments this morning. Let's see. Where do we begin? Hi, Joe and Constance, Grace, Wendy, Jane, Steffi, Judy, Thea, Sweet Melissa, Grace, Carrie, Ma uh, Carrie, Marianne, Deborah, Kathy, Marsha, Sharon. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday, also known as Happy Friday Eve. Hi, Diamond Girl. Hi, Nanette. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Brenda. How did everybody like the... Uh, video tutorial that we live premiered after the show yesterday. Whether you watched it uh, in the live premiere or watched it whenever. Good morning, Judy and Debbie. Did you get a chance to watch the Gracie shawl tutorial yesterday? And if so, did you like it? Hi, Rita. Hi, Faye. I'm hoping that you liked seeing the stitches on the heavier yarn or the thicker yarn. I'm hoping that helped you to see how to do the stitches better. I feel like, you know, there's lots of variables when learning something new. There's learning the new stitches. And if you're not used to working with fine yarns, there's also that element. So anytime you can break things down and learn only one thing at a time, I think it really helps the learning process. So I know some people were intimidated by that shawl to begin with maybe some people that were newer to knitting. So I'm hoping that by seeing the stitches loud and proud and clear like that, it helped you to see the stitches so that now that you understand the stitches, you can go back and apply them to the fine yarn. Or I, I think it's also fun to show things in a variety of ways segue to what we're going to talk about here um you know there's so many different ways let's see do i have it out here or did i leave it uh, it's it's not here it's out there anyway um ho i hope that seeing those stitches on a thicker yarn also inspired you to think of other things so like we talked about yesterday you could make a shawl you could also make two of them and make a poncho if you wanted to make something heavier for colder weather you could make it in thicker yarn if you wanted to make something dressier you make it in the thinner yarn um and if you want to make two you could turn it into a poncho i it would be a pretty poncho in any weight yarn, whether you made it in the fingering weight yarn or all the way up to the uh, number five bulky weight yarn. There's so many ways you can take a pattern and use it as a starting point to add so many different levels of creativity to it. And especially with a top-down shawl, you can start it with whatever size yarn and needles or hooks that you have and finish it when it's the size you want it to be. So especially with a pattern written out for fingering weight yarn, it has more rows than what you would need if you're making it in a thicker yarn. So you would not have to add to the pattern, you could stop earlier. So really, really fun. Um, if anybody has any questions about that tutorial, that pattern, or anything else, always feel welcome to ask me. Asking me here live on the show is super fun, and anytime I do have a inst an instant uh, answer, I'm more than happy to do so, and sometimes I don't have an instant answer, and that's why I ask people to email me or email Judy uh, so that we can get the answer that you're looking for. If you're looking for help with patterns, or orders you know sometimes people will leave comments here on YouTube not the easiest way for us to help you but it definitely is um, a way to get 
to the proper channels. Pattern support at kristinamdahl.com is where you should ask any pattern questions. Specifically, what, I mean, not just, I'm having trouble with this pattern. It's virtually impossible to help somebody that doesn't give detailed information. But for those of you that have emailed with detailed information about what your questions are in a pattern, you do get answers. Uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to help. And um, if you have problems with your order, leaving a message on YouTube, probably not the best way, <laughs> or leaving a comment on social media elsewhere, probably not the most effective way to get an answer. However, um, emailing Judy, J-U-D-I at KristenAmdahl.com with your order number is absolutely the fastest and most efficient way to get answers about your um your order or any issues you have with your order. And those of you that have contacted Judy or me, I know you know how quickly and efficiently you do get your questions answered. So if anybody would like to chime in here, I know it's always better to hear from other people than just from me. I can tell you how great we are all day long, but it doesn't mean as much as it does from testimonials from others. So um, more than happy to help. Um, there are just more efficient ways to get the help that you're looking for. Um, well, Jane, that's a pro that, I mean, if your emails are going to junk, I have written a really detailed blog post about how to get emails to not go into your junk by saving them. And I have written that out with step-by-step -step instructions for whichever email provider you have, whether you're on Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, all sorts of them. I have a really detailed blog post uh, helping you to set that up. You can find that on my blog. Speaking of blog, um, yesterday I was able to upload seven new Share a Project posts. So if you have never checked out Share a Project, um, if you have never checked out my Share a Project section on my website, it's really cool. It's where people have shared what they've made with my yarns and or my patterns, and I upload a post with their photos and with a little blurb what they said they enjoyed or what they want to share about their experience with their project. And I think it's such a wonderful way for you to get inspired by what other people do with my uh, yarns and patterns. And again, it goes back to what we were saying in the beginning of the show. Um, a pattern is a starting off point. A ball of yarn is the beginning, right? It's what you are inspired to do with it that is magical. And I'm so happy that I can enable people with patterns and yarns and all of these things, but ultimately it's up to you. And it's adding your creativity that makes it a magical project. And so that section on my website, oh, thanks, Judy. Judy shared the uh, section of my website called Share a Project. And if you go there, you can see lots of people's projects. Um, it is something I have to manually do once people submit them. So uh, occasionally I get uh, behind on it and I apologize if you're if you're ever waiting for your project to go up there. Um, I did release seven of them yesterday. Unfortunately, there were several more projects that could have been released, but the uh, submissions did not have photos with them. And there's only so much I can do without photos. So you do need to double check that you've added a photo in there before um, submitting your uh, share a project submission because I can't upload, I can't upload a photo without a photo. <laughs> anyway, having said that, we, um, okay, I talked about yesterday's tutorial. I talked about, uh, okay, you're probably wondering what these two guys are behind me. So I want, um, uh, I wanted to let you know that the Priscilla Circle Vest, originally made in a Be So Fine gradient kit, this is the turquoise or teal gradient kit, might be the teal, can't remember. Anyway, it's listed on the pattern. This pattern is so fantastic, it's a circular vest or circular shawl or throw pattern. It comes with written line by line instructions and st stitch counts for the entire project. Plus it has detailed charts for both making it into a flat piece 
or adding the armholes. The charts are there for both. It's a very comprehensive pattern, and it has lots of detailed information on how, to, wh how and where I changed color. But again, that's a starting off point because you could do it any way you want. I also shared information in the pattern on thinking about making it bigger with bigger yarn and bigger hooks. And yesterday, I finished uploading um, a video tutorial series for the entire project and, but wait, there's more. One of my favorite lines, right? <laughs> I redid it in Be So Baby Yarn in a rainbow palette with a larger hook for the larger yarn to make it bigger. And I went with the sleeve hole opening still. So in this video series, it's a five part video series, I show you how to work the stitches for every single round of the project. Like I set up the round and then I tell you this is what you repeat for the rest of the round. I did the video series for the entire project, step by step, Every single round is included in the video series. It's massive, it's five parts. Each one will live premiere after an episode of the podcast starting today. Uh, and I also shared information with how much yarn you'll need to make this size as well. FedEx is here early today, oh goody. Oh, you know what, I might be getting something uh, that I was gonna show you guys. I think I'll wait and show it tomorrow. We've got enough to do today. <laughs> We're already 11 minutes in. So let me back up and show you. Okay, so I made one thing different on the bigger one. So this is 24 rounds here. I added a 25th round to this one to add a round of fringe. And you can see that when you get to the final video. And it shows you how much yarn you'll need. So it's one kit of it's one kit of Be So Fine Gradient yarn for this one. And uh, it's a smaller hook, like a G6. And then I used an I9 or 5.5 millimeter. I might need a sign for that. Let me go see. Hold on. I'll get back to that after the show. Okay, so where was I? What was I saying? Hmm. Okay, so this was with the G6 hook and uh, one kit of the Be So Fine gradient kit, which if you wanted to do this in a solid color, this would be amazing in a solid color too. I just thought I'd show you um, more potential with these. And this one is done in Be So Baby Yarn. It uses 10 balls with a size I9 or 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I used six colors, cherry, tangerine, sunshine yellow, emerald green, cobalt blue, and uh, sugar plum. Again, there are 60 colors in <laughs> Be So Baby Yarn. You could do any combination of colors. I've done blog posts showing you how to mix and match different colors for different color inspirations. Um, but again, you could try so many different ways of mixing and matching color here. You could do something tonal like this, but in baby yarn. Uh, there's so many color choices. Anyway, so it's one ball each of the first three colors, one ball each of cherry, tangerine, sunshine, yellow, then it's two balls each of emerald, green, and cobalt, and it is three balls of sugar plum and all of that information is listed on the uh it's listed in the videos you'll see it in the videos and i will be adding it to the pattern page today as well it took me a very long time to put these video tutorials together and i um it took me forever to get them uploaded last night i don't know why but it just took forever i attempted to upload all five videos three separate times um it was very frustrating. Anyway, finally got them up and running very late last night. I don't think I had it going until after 11 o'clock. It was pretty nuts. Anyway, we're there now. Um, we should probably do a giveaway. Does anybody have any questions about any of that? If you don't have questions, I will move on. Thank you so much for sharing links, Judy. I know everybody appreciates that. 
Well, if there are no, if there are no, um, thank you, Julie. I'm glad you like the colors. I have mentioned all the colors here, so um, there's that. I think it's time to pick a winner for last week's giveaway. Whoops. All right, so I've got the video uploaded and we're gonna choose, and that's to win a 10 ball bag of Be So Scrubby yarn plus the double zip mesh pouch. So we're gonna choose a random winner. The winner is N. Telford. I believe that's Naomi. We, we, so congratulations, Naomi Telford. You are the winner of the 10 ball bag of Be So Scrubby yarn and the double mesh pouch. And I will definitely be reaching out to her on her comment on that video, what was it, 867. And I will be commenting on everybody else's post comments on that video so everybody knows that uh, the winner was chosen. There will be no confusion. Well, there could still be confusion, but it won't be from my part. <laughs> I will be gone. So I will leave a pinned comment saying who won in the comments on that video. I will update the video description and I will reply to every single person who left a comment and entered to win this contest. So it'll take a while, but I will do it after the show this morning. Uh, let's see. So uh, that me, you know what that means, don't you? It's time to announce what this week's contest is going to be. And it's not yarn this week, but it's also something very fabulous. And it's a very lovely set collection. I'm giving away one set of all seven issues of Create, Share, Inspire Notebook this week. Isn't this gorgeous? So we have Volume 1, Issue 1. And what I'm excited to show you is that all of the photos on here are photos that I took from the beaches here in Naples, Florida. So, and, and the, the photo wraps from front to back on the cover. Isn't that gorgeous? So here's issue number one. Here's issue number two. Issue number three. And they all have their own unique set of 31 inspirational quotes. I've, all, I've kind of thought about reading these uh, reading these books on a video with like the beach behind me, wouldn't that be kind of cool? Would you like a video like that so you could come back and watch it for all of the inspirational quotes and, and for the view? These are such wonderful notebooks. I love them so much. So those are the seven. Uh, so that's gosh, well over a $35 value. And this is what I will be giving away to one lucky winner. Uh, what you'll need to do to enter to win these is on today's episode 862, as soon as it is no longer live, as soon as this is a recorded video, the live chat comments do not enter you to win this contest. You have to leave a permanent comment on the video when it's not um when, when, not the live chat, the permanent comment. And once you leave one comment per person, you are entered to win this giveaway. So exciting, right? And I, like always, my contests are open to people all over the world. It doesn't matter where you live. You can enter to win. What else? Does anybody have any questions about that? I think that's very exciting. Uh, <laughs> I just like seeing all seven of them together. I guess it's been a while since I've seen all seven together. Um, uh, uh, someone's here from Namibia. That's cool. Okay, what else are I going to say about this? Oh, these are all back in stock too. Some of them were sold out on my website. You can get all, you, all seven of them are in stock on my website. And you can find all of them on Amazon in any Amazon Prime market around the world. Um, yeah, it'll be great. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Does anybody have any questions? I'll show you what I'm working on. What, what One thing that I'm working on right now. I'm always working on lots of things. But I did I tell you I finished one half of this vest? How pretty is that? <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine just making a blanket like this? Like if you just made this size and just kept going, this would be an incredibly gorgeous blanket. This, I believe this is three balls to make it this size. 
Oh, so pretty. I can't wait to make this a big cozy vest. So excited. I guess I could even make it a big cozy cardigan or you could as well. We'll talk about that when the time comes, but I think a vest is going to work for me because of where I live so that I can wear short sleeves or long sleeves underneath it, but it's going to be so pretty. Um, oh yeah. Good point, Judy. Contest winners must email Judy with their mailing address to claim their prize. I, um, can I show the front of the circle vest? Sure. There are lots of photos on the videos and on the pattern page too. You can see all of this there. This one's a little bit bigger than that one. So it closes a little more in the front. Like that. Okay, what was I gonna say? Yes, I have, I have, um, good question, Sherry. I'll come to that in a second. So. When I contact the winner on a video, I specifically say, please email Judy, J-U-D-I, at kristinomdahl.com with your mailing address. If you do not email Judy with your mailing address, it is impossible to mail out a prize. So you must, um, you must email Judy. And like I said, you don't have to remember this. I tell you this when you are chosen as the winner. Uh, so Sherry is asking if we forget that we replied in the drawing and we reply two times or we disqualified for the drawing. No, you are not, but you also do not get two entries. So there's this wonderful feature on that random generated uh, comment picker that I found uh, or Judy found for me on the internet and on that page I click a button and say no duplicate comments uh, allowed and so if someone has commented more than once they only get the one entry so it makes it super fair for everybody that way otherwise someone could leave a thousand comments and get a thousand entries gosh that would be a lot of work <laughs> um, hello Ellie Judy's granddaughter Ellie good morning happy Thursday to you Hope you're having fun with your grandma. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions about the contest or anything else for that matter? Yes, please follow the directions and email Judy after the show with your mailing address since these are physical prizes. Do need a mailing address for that. And also, please only leave one comment to be entered. However, if you mistakenly leave a couple of comments, you will not be disqualified, but you will not get extra entries either. So I hope that clears some things up for you. And if you have other questions, please feel welcome to ask. These are wonderful questions. And yay, they're questions that I can answer live. <laughs> Always better when I can answer live, right? Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's starting to pour out there. Thank goodness I didn't go to the beach. That would have been a nightmare, right? Total nightmare. I mean, it's not thunder and lightning, so I thought about using my sun umbrella for rain, and then I just thought the ground's going to be wet and ugh. Yeah, so I thought, and especially since I wanted to show you these because we're going to start the tutorial series today, um, would I mind putting on the rainbow vest? If this one's not fully blocked yet, uh, this one is, but this one isn't. Uh, so it, it will probably get a little bigger than what it is here. But sure, I can put it on. And I definitely don't have the right blouse on for this today. I would definitely not wear something this busy underneath i really think it takes away from the beautiful rainbow quality but this is the vest you can see it is definitely longer than the other one it definitely has more coverage in the front but that's because i use thicker yarn and a larger crochet hook and i just think it's so fun to show you the different varieties now imagine doing this in one color or multicolors in Be So Easy yarn. You could totally make this a circular throw to put over your couch or put over the edge of your bed. So keep in mind that it would be amazing for that as well. 
and again, there are instructions there to not only put the armholes in there to make it a vest, but also how to skip the armholes. So there's in rounds 14 and 15, there's a 14 A and B, and then there's a 15 A and B. And if you follow the A instructions for 14 A and B, you don't make the armholes. And if you follow the instructions 15, 14, and 15 B, then you do make the armholes. There are charts written for both, and the written instructions are written for both. So really a wonderful way to have so many options within one pattern. Thank you, Linda. Does anybody have any other questions? We should probably read a quote today. Let's see, where were we? Marlon read the quote yesterday. How fun was that? Did you like seeing Marlon? He doesn't grace us with his presence that much on the podcast anymore. Okay, I read that one. I don't remember where he read from, though. Oh, he read from a different book yesterday, did, didn't he? Oh, this is a good one, too. This is, uh, so I went back to Create, Share, Inspire notebook, issue, uh, volume one, issue two, and this is the next page in this one. Also, let me know if you'd like me to do videos of reading these out loud where you can read, I can read the whole collection, like do a video on issue one, do a video on issue two. Maybe I could even go to the beach where these shots were done because each one is at a diff different location of different beaches. I could go to those beaches and uh, that would that might be fun. If that's something you'd like to see, let me know. Okay, this is from Henry David Thoreau. Aim above morality. Be not simply good, be good for something. I love that. Having focus is so powerful and just so inspiring and motivating. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's one thing to be good, but it's another thing to be good for something. That's really awesome. Thank you, Henry David Thoreau. Aim above morality. Be not simply good, be good for something. Yes always wonderful to have inspiration and motivation. Oh my gosh. Does anybody have any other questions? We talked about so many different things today. I didn't put this back on evenly. Oh well. Oh well, you get the point. Okay, we'll turn it around. There. Huh? There. There. <laughs> it's still not even. All right, well, if you have the time, please join me for the live premiere of the Priscilla Circle Vest video part one. It will be live premiering in about two minutes right here on YouTube. Judy has posted a live link again right now in the comments. So if you want to um, join me, you can join me live. There'll be a live chat and I'll be able to answer any questions live. It's so much fun, but don't worry. If you don't have time for that, it's okay. You can also watch the video anytime. It will become a fixed video on my YouTube channel and you can watch it as many times as you want. Play and pause uh, as many times as you want. It is part one of a five-part video series that will premiere after the podcast for the next five podcasts. <laughs> And don't forget to come back and leave a comment on this video to enter to win, uh, to and for a chance to win all seven issues of Create, Share, Inspire Notebook. And you have all week to enter. It's you'll need to leave a comment on this video, 862, to enter one comment per person, please. And next Thursday we will pick a winner for today's giveaway. So exciting! And congratulations to Naomi for winning the 10 ball bag of Be So Scrubby yarn with the double mesh zip pouch. Very exciting for her. What else? Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'll see you in a couple of seconds for the live premiere of part one of Priscilla. And I will see you tomorrow for the next episode of Create, Share, Inspire podcast. Bye-bye.